Here I'm going to show you how to make a personal portfolio using Canva. It's pretty simple to do and if you'd like to follow along, my link for Canva will be in the description. You can click that and try it for free or simply use it for easier login access. So first things first, what we're going to do is find a template. So what we want to do is go into this section right here. What will you design today? Let's type in personal portfolio. Okay, and we have some other things that are going to come up, which is fine. We can always change it around later, but let's click on personal portfolio here. What I also did is click on Canva templates here, so we're only getting Canva templates. Uh, previously, if you don't have that, it's just gonna showcase a lot of your other work that you've done previously that have any of those words in it, so I just did that to minimize that. So here we're looking at around 73,000 templates. I'm not gonna bore you by going through and looking through all of them. I have found one I already like to use recently, but I do wanna give you some tips here. First things first, know exactly what you're gonna be creating it for. I understand it's gonna be personal, but do you want a lot of slides in it, which isn't a bad thing. If you hover over this one, you're gonna notice that there's 18 slides, and really what you can do is just take the ones you wanna use and delete the rest. There's gonna be other examples that maybe just have one, so if you want a portfolio that's just like one page or one slide, you can do that as well. These are some tips and things to think about. Here's an example of one that's just two. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just type in clean after it, because I like the ones that are pretty much minimalistic and basic. It's very easy to edit that way in my opinion, so. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down ever so slightly and the one I happen to find right here is the minimal and creative right here. So as we go through, there's gonna be 14. We don't have to use all of those, but there's a lot of room here for improvement and just deleting and changing around, which is great. I think it's better when they give you more slides because you can just delete the ones you don't need and edit the ones you want. So let's click on this. And here's a great tip too. Anytime you find a great, say, template you wanna use, not just for a you know portfolio, but for anything else, make sure you scroll down and look for the more like this. The reason they bring these up is because they're gonna be very similar to the template that you have here. You might actually find one that's a little bit better. So this is gonna be for a pitch deck, product launch. This is another personal one right here for a portfolio in terms of being professional. Like maybe you like the colors better here. Maybe this one's more minimalistic. In fact, that one isn't too bad at all. I'm gonna go with that one. So let's go with this one. This has 11 slides that we can use. And let's customize this template. All right, so now starts the real Canva portfolio tutorial. Pretty much what you're gonna be doing here is editing. Let's start with the actual slides themselves. So this can be the front. We will edit this after, that looks good. In order to change the other ones, we just simply click on them. And this is something I recommend doing last. As you can see here, it looks like there's some page numbers to this, but if we go in and we delete some pages and then you know we go back and then we're gonna have to change this, we don't wanna touch this until the very end. That is if you wanna keep it, okay? So we have hello here. You know, we can just talk about who we are, a little bit more about us, maybe a vision and a mission, sure. And then we have strategy. Let's just say like we don't need the strategy page, like the vision and the mission is gonna be completely fine. I'm gonna go right here and I'm just gonna click on delete page. Now, for example, let's say you did that and you're like, wait a minute, I thought it was something that I can use. We can always just do undo at that specific section, but I am gonna get rid of that. So portfolio, this is great. So this could be a presentation of things that we've created maybe. Uh, our team, if it's just you, once again, maybe we don't need that. So I'm just gonna delete this. Uh, project 01, let's say, and project 02, let's say maybe there's one project and then a contact us looks fine. Okay, so now that we have the pages we want, I am just gonna delete this one because I feel like we don't have to have this, right? If we're giving a presentation, they're just gonna go through and see it. So let's say this personal portfolio in this example is gonna be for me and my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna base everything around that, okay? And given the fact that that is kind of not centered and I have OCD, kind of, <laughs> let's do this right here, okay? So we have our date, maybe we want that, maybe we don't want to date it. I'd probably just take that off specifically, you know, and we could say, which is not your name, but my name. And once again, this is going to be, um, we can delete this. This is pretty much the same stuff. And here, I'm just gonna keep it bland, you know, personal portfolio, okay? So that's gonna be our first one. And of course, we gotta add some images here. So uh, I always like talking about that because I have, obviously it's my brand and I have so many images related to it. So I'm just gonna drag and drop one right into there, okay? Plus I think the minimalistic look looks fantastic when you compare it to say a lot of the tropical and vibrant colors. Let's move on to the next one here. Okay, so we have hello. Yeah, this could be about us or maybe about me, right? So I'm gonna do the about me if it's multiple people. Given it is a personal portfolio, it's probably just gonna be you. Let me grab a picture of me real quick. All right, so here's a picture of me I'm gonna drag and drop in. 
that is not cropped very nicely. Let's go to edit image here. What we can do is crop, and now we can drag it so my head's actually in it. There we go. And we can do done. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through a lot of this and just do about me. You don't wanna hear about me. You know about you, right? So okay, I did skip ahead one, so we have hello. In case you wanted to add anything else, maybe you have an image that you wanna use, like uh, say like here, and once again, a lot of times if you do drag and drop images into that, I'm just gonna do this again. We have edit image and crop. That's gonna come up a lot. There we go. In case you wanted to know how to do that as well. And let's say we wanna add another island picture. Let's throw that in there. And this one, why not? We'll just add it in, okay? So I'm gonna be adding a lot of island pictures. So this is pretty much really up to you. Just overall a hello introduction, very little. You're gonna be talking about yourself in the next one and welcome to our company. Very flexible in case what you wanna do there, right? So we have our vision and we have our mission. Once again, this I would keep consistent. So this would be marketing island, your brand or your name. And we have this here. Something else we'd probably wanna to edit to once we are done is the page number. Remember, the table of contents and the page number we're gonna do last. So your mission would go here, your vision would go here. And since the fact this is a personal portfolio, this is a page that you might wanna use a couple of times. So here's how you can do that. Let's right click on the page here and let's do duplicate page. So you'll notice that it just duplicated right here. Okay, then after that we have project 01 and uh, contact us. I'm just gonna delete this because it's gonna make the tutorial a little bit easier. If you wanted to add anything there, it's gonna be everything we've done so far. But, but given the fact this is a portfolio, say for my YouTube channel, I am gonna throw in some branding stuff here. Uh, we can drag and drop images. And once again, here for me would be like talk about software, right? It's not just island related stuff. And once again, we can do that here. And in fact, if we wanna make our lives easier, I know we duplicated this already, but if we edit one of these pages, all we can do is just like delete this and then duplicate it because a lot of this will already be um, similar, right? So all we have to do is change around the pictures and the text and of course the page at the end. Last but not least, we have a contact section. There we are, obviously email here. Website would go here. I'm not gonna change that around, right? And I don't think we need the date on this. We don't need to date this specifically. So you'll notice we have the page numbers here. So this is gonna be page number one. This is page number two. It shows it right here too in case you want. So we wanna make sure this matches up if we wanna keep those. So that's gonna be three. And this would be four. And this is a perfect example of if we kept our table of contents, why we would wanna do that last because a lot of these pages are either gonna disappear, be moved around and so on and so forth. This will be page six. And last but not least will be page seven. So I think that's the coolest thing about doing any type of portfolio. Once again, are gonna be the templates. It's more about finding one that you like, and then you can just keep duplicating the pages that you need, deleting the ones that you don't, and continuing on with the process. Now, now here's another cool thing I do wanna add in, in case you're not familiar with. What you can do is add transitions. So anytime you're between two slides, you put your mouse in the middle, we can either add a page here or add a transition. So if we click on add transition, you're gonna notice what it looks like when you go from one slide to the other. Circle wipe, color wipe, line wipe, that one's not too bad. Match and move, flow, flow looks pretty cool too. Stack or chop. I think that one looks great. So if you click on this, what you can do is set the duration, the direction that it goes. So maybe a little bit quicker. That looks pretty good. And we can do apply between all pages. So if you really like a transition, you can just apply them through all by clicking right here, which is what I'm gonna do. Perfect. All right, and so here's the last thing in terms of the Canva portfolio in your presentation. I wanna show you how you can present it as well. If we click right here, there's gonna be a few ways we can do this. So prevent full screen at your own pace. This is gonna be great, and in my opinion, what you should use. There's gonna be presenter view. So if you wanted to use notes, notes you can add right here. So when you present that way, you can look at those and read those if needed. However, it's gonna be your personal brand. I'm sure you know you better than anyone else does, okay? You can present and record in case you wanna kinda of show your face and talk that way. Then there's gonna be autoplay where you can set speed if needed to do, but I think present full screen is gonna be the best because you have full control of when the next slide is gonna happen. We would click on present right here. And here we are. So you can use your arrow keys left and right, which I am doing right now as you can't see, or you can just click on the page like this. We have our next one, mission, portfolio. And like I said, this would probably be the biggest bulk of the section. I think there were two of theirs, right? Yeah, page five there, page six, and the last one, and we are done. 
Okay, and last but not least, should you wanna save this, you can. You can go to share. And what you wanna do is go to download. So PDF is gonna be recommended here, but as it showcases here, PDF does not support audio, video, or animations. Consider downloading MP4 video or share a link instead. When we were going through the templates, there were some videos that you can use for creating portfolios. And if you did that, that's where you would wanna use the MP4. But PDF standard is gonna be great here. All you have to simply do is click on download and you're gonna have all of your pages utilized in your portfolio. So you can either share it through Canva or just save it as a PDF and share it that way, you know, by any other means. But anyway, that's gonna conclude this Canva portfolio tutorial. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. And of course, if you haven't gotten to test out Canva, I will leave my link down below in the description where you can utilize it for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.